If you're looking for cheap Ultimate Team coins, go check out IGSky.com. Links to that will be in the description below. Use the discount code ROSSI for a little bit 5% off. It's got a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more can you ask for? Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here in this episode number 58 of the Random Hybrid. Today is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everybody watching this video. Hopefully you've had a good day or are having a good day, depending on when you're watching this and what time this video is uploaded, because I'm not too sure exactly when I will be uploading this one. Difficult day to kind of guess when people will be around this Christmas Day. Obviously, a lot of you won't be watching this video at all. You'll be having a great time with your family. That's awesome to hear. And um, let me know in the comment section below at the start of this video what you got for Christmas. It'd be awesome to see what kind of different things everybody got. Um, I don't know what I've got yet, because it's technically... It is Christmas, it's half past 12, and um, obviously I don't know what I've got yet because Santa hasn't come, so a little bit disappointed that he hasn't come through my door yet, or through my window, whatever he comes through these days, because I don't have a chimney. But um, yeah, so basically we're waiting around to, uh, well I'm going to go sleep in a minute obviously, for the obvious reasons, And but yes, a little present came before, and um, it was a guy over on Twitter, he was like, you know what Rossi, I've got Pele. I was like, yeah, alright, okay, you're bullshitting me. And he's like, no, literally, I've got Pele. And I want you to use him. And that's some of the best lines I've ever heard. And I was like, you, you're serious? And he's genuinely serious. I'm on his account right now. He has got a Pele. We're using Pele for the random hybrid. Merry Christmas, Ross. Get in. It's like a bloody... I'm like a kid at Christmas. I really am. And it literally is, feels like that. We're about to use Pele. And I can't wait. It'll be the first time we've ever used him. And it is just an amazing feeling to be able to use him, basically. And like I said, unfortunately, I'm not being able to pack him or been able to afford him. So I've had to have somebody else help me. And the fact that somebody has actually done that, thank you so much. I will remember you and I'll pay you back some other way. And um, yeah, but he doesn't want to be known because of all the hacking situations going on at the moment. So I fully respect that. But we're going to have a page number seven and get two badass players around Pele. But I'm going to pick my own because we don't want to make this a bullshit game episode. So who have we got? We have got Pogba, Griezmann. I don't know if that's his new inform or his old inform because obviously he's currently impacted as a new inform. We've got Di Maria. Di Maria. Nice. Um, Higuain, not his orange one. Shevchenko's there, but we kind of technically have a banned league in the Legends because of Pele. Di Maria is actually attempting one, as is Pogba, because I could think of a couple of options I could do, because Pogba would link with Vieira, Di Maria would link with Crespo, the Legend cards we could potentially use. So, same with Tevez though, and Higuain, they would all link with Crespo, they're all Argentina. Um, again, with French, we could have Vieira, who's French. Got a kind of funny feeling I want to use like a louder or a Figo in this team if I can. So, um, possibly go with like a... I'm feeling Pogba. I'm feeling Pogba big time for this. Pogba's one of my favourite players in the game. I think this guy has him on his account. If not, we'll just have to go and buy one. But we are going to go ahead and use Pogba. He's my chosen player off that page. So let me know in the comment section below if you would have chosen anybody different. But you know how I am with Pogba and when it's an option to use him. I just can't say no. Pogba and Pele... Sounds like a match made in heaven, if you ask me. Let's go over page 7. Syria Legends, our banned leagues. What have we got here? We have got Lacassette. Is that his new inform? Uh, we've got Aguero inform there, which is tickling my bow. We've also got Yaya Torre, who's a player which I haven't really used a lot this year. It'll be cool to kind of use him with Pogba in that midfield. And um, it might be too good to refuse, you know. Yaya Torre might have to be the guy. Oh my golly gosh, Yaya Torre. Um, holy shit. Holy tits. Yeah, Yaya Torre. Oh my god, this team's going to be OP. Yaya Torre, Paul Pogba, and my main man who's sitting in the team right now, and that is Pele. There he is, still can't believe it. 12.6 million coins he paid for this guy. He hasn't actually even used him, so whether or not he's bought him just for me, which would be absolutely crazy if he has, I honestly don't know. He's played 200 games for a previous club, 232 goals scored, which isn't too bad, actually. It's a, you know, plus one every game. Um, but I'm hoping to get some goals with him. If I go for an episode without scoring with him, I'll be very upset. But Pele... You are my hero, buddy. And let's see what other players we've got around him. We'll just chuck him in here because that's uh, easy to do. So we're going to go with Pogba's highest rated in form. I can't remember if that's 84 or 85. It is 84. But looks good. Does he have one? He does have one. So that is awesome. Does he have a Yaya Torre, though, is the question. Um, Yaya, Yaya Torre. 
No, he doesn't have a Yaya at all, right? But it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. What should we rock this team in? Um, um, actually, no. Nah, not that one. Possibly that one with them two rocking CDMs. Holy shit. That would be too overpowered, wouldn't it? What's Yaya Toy's... Yaya Toy? What's his work rates this year? Medium, medium. What a tank. But let's go over to actually making the team now. Right, what I want to kind of do with this team is... Um, I'm not really too sure exactly what I want to do with this team. I've got a good amount of coins, but like Legends obviously cost quite a bit. But there's one player in particular I really badly want to use. That's Louderup. I don't know if I've said that already. Um, but Louderup in, in Cam is what I would consider a god in this game. His, his stats are very, very good for a Cam and also a center mid. But I haven't tried him yet. It would be cool to use somebody like him. So we could have him there or maybe in the middle. Um, but I kind of don't want to go for too many Legends. I want three kind of maximum. And um, just thinking about what we could have. We've got a, we've got two options, really. Man City, we could go Aguero in Cam and then have Crespo in Cam. Or we could go Tevez in Cam and then have Crespo in Cam there. Crespo is basically what we're going to... We're going to have to have Crespo. I mean, it's a no-brainer. He's a very good player on this game. And uh, we're going to chuck him in Cam. No shit's given. And there he is, Crespo. I'm feeling Tevez over Aguero in Cam. I feel as if Tevez is more suited to be a Cam than Aguero. But both of them are very, very good in their own right. But we are going to give a Tevez and um, see how that one pans out. I don't know what he's got. We'll just chuck in the original one for a second. I'll have a look if he's got any other ones or if we can afford any other ones in, uh, in a minute, basically. But we're going to go for... A back lot of possibly different players because we have. I'm, I'm imagining we're not going to have a lot of coins left, so um, so I'm just trying to tally up how much he's all cost. I've got a little thing on my computer now saying how much he all costs. It's about 1.5 for him, and it's about 1.4 for him, 1.5 for him as well. We've got about 3 million, so them at two alone, 3 million. We've got a little bit over 3 million. Yeah, I told you about 200k. So I'm going to go for a cheap back lot, or players you might already have. And Clichy is going to be the first one, it's a no brainer. Gail Clichy over Collar of a left back for me personally. But the centre-back, we're going to go for his regular card, by the way. The centre-back we're going to go for, we could go for, like, company and, you know, do it that way. But for the lols, we're going to go for Colo Torre. And we're also going to go for the lols, Mignole in goal. I mean, why not? They're both in kind of, like, uh, for different reasons, basically. Colo Torre for a good beat to be in a god in Colo Torre. Mignole, because he's so bad in real life at the moment. It's really weird, because he started off really well. And Liverpool haven't been performing well recently. And Mignolet's been one of them players who really you haven't had a good time at all. He's actually been replaced by Brad Jones, which is bad enough. Liverpool really need to invest in a new goalkeeper if that's the way they're going to go down. But the right back we're going to go for, Syria. Let's have a little options we've got. French is a good option, or Juventus. I might go for French. We've got Lichstein as in form, but I really like Conco on this game. It's a player which I'm not too bothered with using at all. And now we could either go, we could go for a French centre back. In the, we've actually almost completed this team really, really quickly. A French centre-back in this league. Uh, I really do like Yang and Biwa and Sian. I think they're very, very good players. This guy... Oh, this guy's gone in form, actually. That might be tempting to give him a try. High, high work race is off-putting, though. It's not the end of the world. It's better, obviously, than having high medium. Um, has he got him? He's not got him, but would that be somebody different and somebody quite cool to use? I may have just completed this team record-breaking time, lads. Unbelievable. I think we're going to go with that. I think that looks sweet. Um, it's only a free league hybrid, thinking about it. We could go for, like, a Ivory Coast centre-back. I think there is an Ivory Coast centre-back in the Serie A, but then we have to go for an Ivory Coast goalkeeper, and I think I've looked at that before, and there's only, like, two or maybe three. And um, they're not very tall. or well, the main one's not very tall. It's, like, copper or something. I think it's quite short. I don't want to be lobbed. I don't want to be lobbed from range. Minion lane gold's bad enough. So I think we're actually going to go with this team, lads. I think I've done that at record-breaking time. Damn. We're going to go buy all these players now. I'll be back in two seconds when I've done that. Let's see if it all works out for the best. See you in two. Boom! I am back, and here we are with the finished team. I had a little look around this club, and he actually had informed Tevez, which he got from a pack by the looks of it. So that's cool. We chucked him in. I don't think that's his highest-rated one, but... May as well use this highest rated one we have available to us. But the rest of the team looks pretty sweet. Like I said, we went with that informed centre back. He is informed. He looks alright with a shadow chemistry style on him. No, no big deal. 
I'm going to go into the game and um, hopefully we can get some goals with the main man Pele. Louder up there is going to be a new threat to me. Crespo and Cam. See how that works out. Yaya Torre and Pogba are two CDMs. It's going to be an absolute joy. It really is. I'm really looking forward to using Pele. Christmas Day. All round good time. Let's see how he performs and let's go into the game. Let's do this. Okay, well, interesting. Interesting. We come up against this guy who's got low chemistry, but some very good players in each area. He's got Yaya Torre, a hazard. It baffles me sometimes if you buy these players because you could sell some of them and make a really good team. But either way, let's do this. Shit, he's going to be on Van Hazard here. He could get a goal. He's put one to the side and he has scored. And I think it's that silver striker who's got the goal. This guy started the game very strong. Sometimes, even though you've got low chemistry, doesn't make you a bad player of the game. It honestly doesn't. And this is a problem. We're now 1-0 down. And I'm not very good at FIFA at the moment. So holy shit. It's game on. Disney. Big ball. Huge pass. Pele now running in on goal at pace. This has to be a goal. Pele! Yep. Inevitable. Had to be. As soon as you beat the offside trap and get in behind the defenders... Pretty much every single time, Pele will put it past the goalkeeper. That's what you pay for. That's why you pay that, like, 12 million price tag. Pace, power. Actually, not so much power, but shooting accuracy. For show, Eden Hazard has skinned me there. And it's motherfucking game out. Hazard strikes over the bar. Her now with the flick. Crespo with the Tekkers. is going to hit this first time with Pele. Who's that moving to? Pele! Fucking hell! Holy shit! Okay. That shit's real. That shit cray. That shit cray. Fucking Pele. Boom! 2-1. What a finish! After thinking for a split second, I messed up my chance. Pick it out, son. Pick it out. That's what you pay for. I said it once. I'll say it again. Pele, baby. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. It's Crespo. And we're looking for Pele. And we're finding Pele. That's exactly what we're doing. Pele completes the hat-trick. 3-1. 33 minutes on the clock. The chemistry is kind of beginning to show. Pele's finding the gaps. Shows a bit of strength there as well. Because he is getting tugged back. And a good finish on his weak foot. Legend cards are just OP in this game. 3-1. And that's half-time. It's got a little bit rowdy now. Pele seems to be finding a lot more space. And finding it a lot easier to get in behind. And do the damage. We're having a lot of shots. One of his goal came from a while out because he absolutely ratted one. But it's just a joy to play with Pele. It's an absolute it's an absolute privilege to play with such a legend. And um, I'm going to feel bad when I have to give us a count back. So hopefully we can get some more goals and have a good time. Unfortunately, we came up against a guy with low chemistry. That's just the way it turned out. And um, that's the only annoying thing about this episode so far. But 3-1. We want to score some more goals with Pele. He's still a decent player. It's just the chemistry is coming into effect. He is getting a little bit... Happy hacky in his tackles now, so um, we'll see how it pans out. I'm expecting a few more goals and like maybe a couple of red cards, but let's do this. We're going to have another free kick there. It's a cheap one because I kind of brought that on myself. But if we can get this round the wall, again, he's going to put somebody on the line. But if we can get it in the right in the top corner, Pele! Oh my fucking Christ! All right, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. He is perfection. He is the... The answer to everybody's prayers. That's right in the top corner. The goalkeeper, no chance. It's the defender on the line as well. They get nowhere near it. It's too good. It's too, too good. 4-1. It's Pele. Oh, Gale. Gale! Fucking hell, mate. We've conceded a cheap as hell goal there. And I think that's that silver striker again. We're gifting him a goal here. We're like, you know what? We've got Pele. You've got this little silver piece of crap. You can have some goals. Don't want to feel left out there. But Gale... Sort it out, son. Sort it out. What a horrible touch that is. And it's Hernan Crespo. A little dink over for Pele. Head is one. Header is one, sorry. Into the back of the net. Cracking little finish, to be fair, after a difficult ball from Hernan Crespo. But I'm not too sure what this guy was doing. He let me in there. And Pele wins a header. Who saw that coming? 5 2. I didn't actually mean to score that. It's a, it's a goal, but this guy's being an absolute dickhead and he's passing it around his back and he's just like doing stuff with his goalkeeper. It's annoying. I didn't actually mean to score that. He was like chipping up. I was just going to tackle him and like walk it away, but apparently that's rolled into the back of the net. And uh, Hernan Crespo takes himself, well, gets himself a goal basically. So that's 6 2. Crespo gets up for it. Little dink over. I think a goalkeeper's going to get on this one. Is he. Oh my god, what the hell? What the fuck? 
David De Gea howler. Holy shit. Pele has nicked a goal there. We'll take it. We'll add one to his goal tally. Why not? What is this, though? From David De Gea. That is god-awful. That's something you'd expect Mignolet at the other end to do. GG. That's 7-2. And that's all she wrote. 7 2. Merry Christmas, me. Let's see how it all went down. Boom! Okay, so that is the end of the game. We managed to thrash that guy 7 2. Got a little bit annoying at the end when he was messing around with his goalkeeper. And then, of course, a David De Gea howler, which led to another one of our goals. But apart from that, it was quite a comfortable win against a guy who did have low chemistry. But um, that's the way the cookie crumbled, as it were. And. Uh, that's it for me with Pele. That's the final time I'll probably be able to use him unless I manage to pack him or pack a really expensive player and then come back to him. But he is definitely the best player in the game. I've used Ronaldo. I've used Ibrahimovic, Messi, everybody. There's something about Pele which just makes him better than the rest. And it's worth using on this Christmas day. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it will be absolutely fantastic. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to press that subscribe button. Hope you've had a good Christmas. I'll catch you next time. And bye bye Boobies. Boo. Popping Danny Sturridge while we are Randy. And <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But okay. Danny Sturridge is, of course, a Liverpool player. And I think I've got one in my club. Let's just double check. Have I? I do indeed. And the Marco Royce is definitely somewhere in my club. We've also got the preset ones. What else are we going to get in these packs here? I'm just going to skip this one. Oh, yes! Fucking get in, lads! We got ourselves Mario Goetzer and the Lord himself! We got the Lord!